Good morning, Yellow Jackets. This is the Yellow Jacket Buzz. I'm Ryan. And I'm Piper. This is the show that keeps you in the know. Our Veterans Day program will be on November 11th. Anyone wanting to invite a veteran or person currently in the military needs to return the completed form to Mrs. Badon, room 406 by November 8th. Get your form from the, your first hour teacher or in the office. We will be participating in an international bookmark exchange for students in Poland and India. If you haven't created a bookmark in art class and would like to participate, pick up an entry form from the library. We would like to recognize our DSJH Teacher of the Year for the school year. Congratulations to Miss Lorena. Congratulations to Denham Springs Junior High's Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Stephanie Lorena. Here's what her administration and faculty have to say. Mr. Wax says, on the first day of school, Mrs. Lorena was calling students by name, giving COVID-friendly hugs, asking about their summers, their siblings, and their lives. It was obvious she loves kids. That's just the start, not to mention how well she prepared her students for the LEAP test last year. Mrs. Cambry says, Mrs. Lorena is always looking out for what is best for not just her students, but for all of our students in our school. Mrs. Coates says, Mrs. Lorena is the epitome of what it means to be a team player. Not only is she an incredible teacher who truly gets to know her students, but she goes out of her way to make sure that her students know she cares. Mrs. Lorena pours her heart into school activities as well as the after school programs that we offer. She mentors young teachers and helps guide them to being their best. She is such an asset to our school. Ms. McMaster says, Stephanie makes a great teacher of the year because she consistently does whatever it takes to make sure her team, students, and coworkers are taken care of in every way. She's comedic relief at the most needed times and a shoulder to lean on in the hard moments. Mrs. Hand says, Stephanie is a team player. She's always willing to help and works well with everyone. She is detailed in every aspect of her job. Some may call that OCD, but this equates to perfection in her job duties and her time and efforts do not go unnoticed. She goes above and beyond for her team, coworkers, and students. Most of all, she's the real MC of DSJH and she keeps us laughing. I love her dearly and I'm happy for her. As you can see, Mrs. Lorena is very deserving of this award. Congratulations again. For the month of November, we will have a weekly segment called Thankful Thursdays. We want to know what you are thankful for as we head into the Thanksgiving season. Did you know that being thankful can improve your mood? Well, for the month of November, we're going to be doing Thankful Thursdays. So come see me and Miss Sakura during lunch. Tell us what you're thankful for and we'll post it up here. Y'all be thankful. Now that we've wrapped up announcements, let's head over to our sports, lunch, and weather correspondents. First off, we want to congratulate our girls and boys cross country teams for a great season. The boys took fourth place at the Parish Meet and the girls brought home the Parish Championship. Everyone finished with the personal best. Super proud of all the hard work they put in this fall. Moving on to basketball, we have a few games this week. We play Southside Junior High today at home right after school. Thursday, we head to Live Oak Middle to play them at four o'clock. Good luck to our Yellow Jacket Ballers. One thing I'm thankful for is our awesome school lunch and our cafeteria workers who work so hard to feed us every day. Monday, our lunch is chicken strips. Tuesday, it's oven fried chicken. Wednesday, we're having pepperoni flatbread pizza. Thursday, jambalaya. And Friday, is beefy nachos with queso because it's Fiesta Friday. I know we've all been thankful for the cooler temperatures we've had lately. A slight warming trend will take place going into this week. However, another cold front is forecast to arrive late in the week and could bring back a slight chance of rain going into Wednesday or Thursday. Our temperatures will stay between the 70s and upper 40s. All right, everyone, that's the news for this week. Thanks for tuning in to the Yellow Jacket Buzz. And remember, it's a great day to be Yellow Jacket. Our Veterans Day program will be on November 11th. Anyone wanting to invite <laughs> Cut. needs to return the completed form to Mrs. Badon. Miss <laughs> Cut. We will be participating in an international bookmark exchange. Students from Holland, Cut. and for students.
students from oh wait students <laughs> students from schools cut study oh wait no don't use that cut but, oh, my. oh this is so cut my, oh, my. cut we want to know what you are thankful for as we head into the Thanksgiving <laughs> cut <laughs> cut I know we've all been thankful for the cooler temperature. <laughs> I can't say temperature is right. Cut! That's a wrap! <laughs>